everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline um, I make new videos on all sorts of things lifestyle beauty adventure all sorts of fun stuff so I'll help you consider subscribing and joining our little adventure family here and today I have um, kind of like a new thing roundup I didn't do a June favorites if you guys see my vlogs or follow me at all you'll know that I had a baby like four months ago and um we have been having some sleep issues some weight issues all sorts of things but um i'm finally like getting back into the swing of youtube and he's sleeping a lot better and all that stuff so i don't have a lot of favorites from june but i have a lot of stuff that i've tried recently or bought recently um so i wanted to share just like a huge collection of things that i've bought and used and tried over the past couple months and just kind of tell you my thoughts on them and how I'm liking them. So I have some fashion, some beauty, some baby stuff, some travel stuff. So we're just gonna dive right in and let's get into it. I'm gonna start with fashion. Um, I'll put timestamps down for like each category down below. So if you just wanna like just see the beauty, you can skip right to that time. Um, so starting with fashion. So I got a few things from Airy. I have been loving Airy recently. They make great like basics, like super nice stuff. So the first thing I got, was this bodysuit. It's a one shoulder bodysuit and this looks so cute. I actually wore it in a video not too long ago um, and it was adorable. It's so comfortable, it fits so well, it's nice and stretchy. And I just love this color. It also comes in black and white, but I don't have anything this color. So I thought this would be just something like fun and different for me. Yeah, I love it. It looks so good on, it's super flattering. It fits really well. It's just kind of like a little bit fancier of a tank top. Like I threw this on just with some shorts and it looked like slightly more elevated than just like a regular tank top, which is nice, but it's just as comfortable and I love it. I could probably get away without wearing a bra with it, but I'm sure, you know, some people would probably want to wear a strapless bra. I just don't have that big of boobs, so it's not a super big deal for me, but super comfortable, super cute, and definitely one of my favorite things I've ever bought for them. And honestly, I would almost get the black and white one just to have options in this because it's so cute. The uh, next thing from Aerie that I, I love everything from Aerie, so I'm not gonna say the next thing I love or anything, but um, the next thing from Aerie is this gray crop top. Again, super basic, but just like super cute. You can throw it on with jeans, with like bike shorts or leggings or anything under a sweatshirt and just looks really cute and easy and effortless. And it's just one of those crop tops that can kind of like do it all. It does have a built-in bra in it, which for again, for my small boobs is plenty. If you have slightly bigger boobs, you might want more support than that. But um, for me, it's just like perfect just to throw this on with basically anything and be good to go. It's just so comfy. It's just a little ribbed tank top. And again, this comes in like a million colors um, oh, the gray says, it says the gray is unavailable now. I'll see if it comes in other colors and I can like it. Um, but it's so, so cute and comfy. Hopefully it comes back in stock because it's really, really comfortable. Um, I will also have the sizes I'm wearing and, um, prices down below, but this is super comfortable. So if it comes back in stock, snag it. The next thing I got from Ari is a bra. I'll just pop a picture of it up here because obviously I'm not going to show you me wearing the bra. I'm actually wearing it today. It's super comfortable. It's just this little lace bralette. Um, I got it in the color raw sienna and it's just a really nice kind of like peachy pink, like, um, like skin tone sort of color. It's just really, really pretty and I really enjoy it. It's super comfortable to wear. My only gripe with it is that it has four clasps in the back. And it's just like really hard to do up the class because there's four of them. So I just leave it clasped and just kind of like pull it on, which I'm sure is not great. It's going to stretch it out, but it's much easier than trying to um, button all four of those clasps. Um, but it's really comfortable, really cute. It comes again in a bunch of colors. Um, I just didn't have any bras this color and I thought it would be just like a really nice, easy thing to throw on under like tank tops that maybe have a low cut side or just like under a t-shirt just to be comfortable. And I really like it. It's very, very comfortable. The next thing is actually the t-shirt I'm wearing. This is so comfortable. Um, you can kind of see it's a little bit see-through E, but it's really, really cute and comfortable. It's a really nice, lightweight, kind of linen-y material. Um, it's perfect for summer because it's like a t-shirt, but that linen-y, like lightweight, breezy sort of look keeps it really cool and comfortable. Again, this is something I would buy in other colors, not very expensive, and it's just a really nice basic. It looks great with bike shorts, tucked into my regular shorts or my jeans or whatever. 
over leggings because it is a little bit more oversized. It just is a really cute basic t-shirt and I just, I love it. I've been wearing it constantly, so comfortable, just love it. The last thing from Aerie is a pair of bike shorts. I have been loving these bike shorts. So they got a little color block detail on the side and a little drawstring detail in the front. And these are so, so comfortable. I'm pretty sure I got these in a size medium. Yeah, normally I go for smalls in most leggings, but I was reading some reviews and these were like extra compression-y. So I got a medium and I'm glad I did because they are a little bit tight around my um, belly area. Um, but super cute. They're nice in compression, so they suck you in really well. Um, I just thought the color block detail on the side was really cute. It does have a raw hem, which I thought was interesting. I thought for sure it'd be a finished hem. Um, I haven't noticed it like falling apart or anything though, so it's not really bothering me. I just thought maybe mine was like unfinished and I almost sent them back and then I looked at the picture online and realized that that's just how they are. But again, I've been wearing these so much, so cute and comfortable and just a nice little like twist on a plain pair pair of black biker shorts. Just something a little bit different and unique and fun to wear. All right, the last fashion-y thing is from Amazon. Um, I had looked at the Lululemon scuba diver like half zip cropped hoodie thing. It was $118. Even with the military discount, it still made it like $100. And I wasn't sure I needed a $100 hoodie. So I was kind of like doing some, you know, internet sleuthing and found a lot of people recommended this sweatshirt off Amazon for 40 bucks, and it's a pretty good dupe. So I decided to try this one first before I even like considered getting the Lululemon one. Um, and so it's this sweatshirt. I think it's super cute and comfortable. I've been wearing it a ton. My husband even gave me a compliment on the sweatshirt. Um, so I'm really glad I just went with a $40 one because honestly, this is so comfortable. It washes really well. I've washed it a few times and it's still super soft inside. Um, I love the little zip detail. It doesn't bother me that it's leather and not like the metal like Lululemon is. Um, I wish I would have gotten a medium though, just to make it like a little bit more oversized, but not a deal breaker for me. Um, and then the thumb holes aren't super comfortable, but I don't tend to like use the thumb holes very often. So, but if you do, and that's something concerned by, for me, they weren't super comfortable. They were kind of um, in an awkward place that kind of hurt a little bit, so. You know, if that's something that bothers you, maybe go with the Lululemon one. But this is super cute and comfortable, and I just, I love it. I've been wearing it constantly. All right, let's go on to some beauty things. And a cleansing ball, <laughs> per usual. Every time I say I'm not doing any more cleansing ball videos, more cleansing balms come out. So I'm trying more. Um, so I decided to try the Good Molecules one. I had heard a ton about this brand and just never tried anything. They seemed like they were at a great price point. They kind of reminded me of like Mad Hippie or um, like The Ordinary, something like that, where they're all like very specific little jars, concentrates, you know what I mean? Just like, they're very simple. They do what they say they're gonna do, all that stuff. So I decided to try their cleansing balm first. Um, and I've been loving this. It's really nice. The packaging's nice. It's a little tin, which I thought was super cute. I love the pink packaging. Like it's so cute. I love that it's got this little secondary lid and a place to put the little scooper. Um, I'm actually almost out of this and I've been loving it. Loving it. It's a really good cleansing balm. Literally almost out of it. It takes off all my makeup, all my sunscreen. It doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or stripped, but it doesn't also leave it feeling like it has a film or it's greasy or anything. Um, so I've been really enjoying it. I think it's a great price point. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I'm probably gonna try something else here when I am done, but this is definitely one that I would repurchase. I would definitely go back to Ulta, seek this one out and buy it again. So it's a good one. Um, I don't remember, oh yeah. So it has uh, sea buckthorn oil, camille oil and shea butter. Those are all great hydrators as well. So if you do have like dehydrated dry skin, this is also gonna help with that too. So that's great. Um, but yeah, it's just a really good, good cleansing balm. Okay, the next two things kind of go together. Yeah, okay, let's talk about this first. I got this because of this, so that, that makes sense. First of all, this is the Cantu uh, Flaxseed Smoothing Cream Gel, and this is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. So basically, I wanted to try this cream gel because I love like a cream gel in my hair for my curls because I do have like thinner hair, like each strand is really fine. 
but I have a lot of it. And so my hair can't take like too heavy of products, but I need something enough to like help hydrate and sculpt my curls all at the same time. So this kind of sounded perfect for me because it was a flexible hold, it defines and softens, you know, all that stuff. And it was, and I thought it'd be great. And I love stuff from Cantu, great prices, so nice. Um, it smells really good. Um, it's free from mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, silicones, phthalates, paraffin, and propylene glycol. So this is just supposed to be like, you know, a do it one and all sort of thing. Um, and it just didn't have quite enough hold for me. This is fine for days. I just want to like let my hair air dry. I'm not super concerned about it being like really curly or anything. Um, but I want a little bit of extra hydration and a little bit of hold. Um, this is fine, but I needed a little bit more hold than this was giving me. So I decided to get this curl, this curl gel, which has the maximum hold for their line. It's best for curly or coily hair types. So I decided to give this a try and I really like this. I don't find it sticky or anything, but it gives me that extra hold that it was missing from this can't too. Um, so I don't use a lot of it. I just use a little bit. I can even mix it in with this sometimes um, and just, you know, do my in shower application with it or whatever. Um, and I think it works really well. Again, Not Your Mother's is such a great price point, just like Cantu is. These are both so affordable that it makes taking care of your curly hair easy. Um, and I heard a, have heard a lot about this Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line. I just personally hadn't tried anything. Oh no, I have. I have tried their shampoo and conditioner, which I like, they were good. But I hadn't tried any like their styling products. So I was excited to give this a try and I do really like it. It doesn't make it dry or crunchy or anything like that. It really just gives it a really good hold. So um, if you're looking for an inexpensive hair gel for your curly hair, this is a good one. Okay, the next thing I got, I talked about briefly in my like super random vlog that, <laughs> anyway, this is um, from Kitsch. It's an eco-friendly oversized claw clip. I love this thing. I have a few clips left over from when they were in style back in, you know, the early 2000s when I was like in junior high. Um, I have a few left, but I wanted a new one. Um, my black one was kind of like broken a little bit, so I decided to get a new black one. And I love this one. I've been wearing it a ton. I don't have super long hair, but I find that this still works perfectly. Um, I kind of love this like matte rubberized finish to it. Super comfortable. I've just been using it a ton just to like throw my hair up, especially with the baby. I don't always have time to like do my hair. Um, and with postpartum hair loss, I'm trying not to give it like too much tension in high ponies for too long. So this is perfect just to like get my hair up out of my face without doing too much damage. So this is a really good one. They have a bunch of different sizes and colors and stuff. But again, I just wanted a plain black one and it's really nice and cute. Okay, the next thing used to be on Ulta and now it's not on Ulta anymore. So I'll link Kinship's website for it. I don't know why it's not on Ulta's website anymore. Um, because this is amazing. This is the Kinship Self Reflect uh, Sports SPF 60. So this has triple ceramide moisturizing. This is um, zinc oxide, sweat and resi water resistant. This has 24% zinc oxide. And this is an amazing mineral sunscreen. So this isn't tinted, but it is so hydrating and so glowy that if you have oily skin, I think you would hate this. I will put that out there. But for my dry skin girls that love a mineral sunscreen but hate the white cast and don't find them moisturizing enough, this is it. This is the one. Um, it doesn't leave any white cast on my skin. It just looks super glowy, which again, dry skin does not bother me. I want that glow. Um, and so it's so good. And I love that it's water resistant and sweat resistant because I find a lot of mineral sunscreens aren't. And that makes it hard if I want to go splash around the pool with the baby or go for a hike or just a walk in general. It makes it hard, you know? And so this is great. Um, I do find these kind of sunscreens to be a little bit expensive, but it's a whole nother issue. I will pay the price for this one. Um, but it's so good. I really, really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite sunscreens I've tried in a while. A sunscreen I did not like, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. I might use it like on my arms and like um chest area but this made me break out unfortunately and I heard such good things about it that I was really excited to try it and I just 
it wasn't for me. This is the Native Mineral Face Lotion. This is the unscented version. I didn't want to get the scented version just because you never know a scents. I don't have like a sensitivity to them in terms of like my skin, but you can develop one. I just, I don't want to go there. So I decided to get the unscented and it sounded great. It's got 20% zinc oxide. Um, I believe this is supposed to be like hydrating and stuff. It's a safe for sensitive skin, why compliant. So it doesn't have the oxybenzone or the oxo, or I, I can't say the other one, I'm sorry. It says absorbs quickly and doesn't leave a white cast. So I will say that this does blend really, really nicely. I can show you a little pump. It does blend, sorry, this is very awkward, here we go. This does blend really nicely, you'll see. No really big white cast. It does take a second to rub in. It feels great on the skin. For me, it kind of feels like a traditional like sunscreeny sort of feel. It's not like sticky, but kind of gives that little slip. Um, and it feels like a normal sunscreen. Um, but for me, unfortunately, this was causing a lot of breakouts. This is the only new thing I had added to my routine in a few weeks. And I got a whole bunch of breakouts down here. And so I figured it might be this, so I stopped using it. My breakouts are going away. So unfortunately, this, I don't know what's in here that is causing me to break out, but something in this my skin does not like. So unfortunately, like I said, I won't be using this on my face. I'll probably use it up like on my chest and my shoulders. That should be fine. Not a big deal. But um, yeah, unfortunately, this just is not great for me. And um, I was so excited about it. Like I said, it was supposed to be amazing. I've heard so many good things about it. Just wasn't for me. The last new thing for my skin is the Naturium Vitamin C Super Plus Serum. I was so excited to try this and I think my skin's been loving it. I have used their azelaic acid and their vitamin C for a while now. I was using them during pregnancy and while I was breastfeeding for reasons I'm not going to get into here on the internet. I am no longer breastfeeding. So um, I decided to try this Super Plus Serum which has retinol, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid in it. So it's just kind of like a all-in-one serum. Like it kind of checks off all my boxes for me. And I've been loving this. I think my skin's been really liking it too. Like I said, I do have a few more breakouts. Some of them for stress. Some of them I think from that sunscreen. But for a while there, this was doing great. My skin looked so clear still. Um, and it was working really well with the azelaic acid. I really think it was just the sunscreen that was messing up my skin. Um, I will eventually do a 30-day skincare test on this, but so far so good. I really like it. Yeah, we'll see how I continue to do with this. I think I'm just going to finish the bottle and see if I want to get a second one. That's where I'm going to leave it. All right, on to baby stuff. First of all, the swim diaper. Um, so I was looking for swim diapers for my baby to go home and all the disposable ones were too big for him. So I decided to get a reusable one, which I'm glad I did because that's a lot of extra waste for a diaper he only wears for like 20, 30 minutes max. So I decided to get a reusable one and I'm really glad I did. I love this one. Um, I got this off Amazon. It fits him really well. It's nice and snug. Um, we haven't had any issues with it. I don't think he's like pooped in it or anything yet, or I know he hasn't. So I can't talk to that aspect of it, but it fits him really well. He seems comfortable in it. Um, it's really easy to put on, just hang it dry, all that stuff, but it comes in a bunch of different colors. It's just really easy. This, I think, I got the uh, infant to six month one. Yeah, the six month one. So this one fits 10 to 18 pounds. So that's the reason I got this one, but they have a whole bunch of different sizes. So in different colors and stuff, this one just, it's the size he needed. The other thing I got for him for the pool was this rash guard. So this has UPF 50 in it. So it um, will help, well, I think it's UPF 50. Let me double check before I say that for sure. Yeah, sorry, UPF 50 plus. Um, again, this is the six month size. It's a little bit big on him, but that's okay. He'll grow into it. But um, we needed something to, you know, cover his little arms and body and stuff because obviously he's too young to wear sunscreen. So we just wanted something, you know, to put on him so he could be out. He's not really in the direct sun anyway, but just in case, you know, something happens, he is in the direct sun for a little bit. We know he has some protection and just a really cute color. I'm pretty sure these um, were the same brand. Yeah, these are both the same brand. These are both from iPlay. Really cute. They also make little hats and stuff. Just really nice. Something for him to have on at the pool. Okay, the other things I'm not going to have with me because he's either using them or in his room and I don't want to wake him up to get them. 
The first thing is this Baby Merlin's Cotton Magic Sleep Suit. He loves this. This has been saving our sleep ish. Some of them, not all of them, but you know, some of the sleep issues, this has helped a lot. So when we first got this, we were just putting him in there at night and we were using something else, which I'll show you in a second for his naps. We found that he really did like this better. So we've been using this all the time and he just loves it. He looks like a little marshmallow in it. It's so funny. My husband says he looks like Randy, the kid from um, uh, A Christmas Story where he like lays on the ground. He's like in the snowsuit. That's what it looks like. It's hilarious. But anyway, he loves this. It comes in a couple different colors, a couple different sizes. Um, and it really does work well. It's not weighted or anything like that. It's just kind of fluffy and big and kind of squeezes them in a little bit. So they feel like they're, you know, secure. But um, he loves it. This is all we use now. It's so, so good. Um, the sleep sack we did buy to try was this one from Burt's Bees. It was good. It was made really nicely. He just didn't really like it as much as that little sleep suit. He would sleep fine in it though. And if your child loves a, a sack, this one's a great one. He just isn't, he just doesn't like it, which is fine. The next couple things are both for his room. So we got him this little sound machine. So he is used to white noise in our bedroom. So we got him a little white noise machine for his room. Um, we were just using my iPad for a while and I wanted to be able to like use my iPad. So we got him this one. It's almost identical to the one we have in our room and it works great. It just sounds like a fan going, like a louder fan, but it works really, really well. He really likes the sound of it. Um, I find he goes to sleep better with it on. And like I said, he's used to one in our room. So it works really well. This one isn't super expensive. Again, comes in a couple different colors. So, you know, maybe it'll match your decor or something. We just got the gray one because it was simple and easy. And yeah, he really likes it. The other thing we got for his room was some blackout curtains. So these are from the Target brand Pillow Fort. Super cute. They come in a bunch of different colors. We got the green ones to match his room. And these work great. They definitely block out all the light. His room is nice and dark. They look nice in his room. Um, and they're just a really good blackout curtain. Blackout curtains tend to be expensive in general. I actually looked at the ones we have in our room and there are like $37 compared to these ones are 27. So they're just expensive, but they are well worth the investment because they really do make the room nice and dark and it's easier for him to sleep. So love these. The last thing is an outfit. This um, looks like it's on clearance and has limited stock, but this is so cute. So I had to share this. Target has really cute baby clothes and this little outfit is adorable. So first of all, it's a little onesie. It's a little polo onesie and it's just gray. And I love that this is separate from the other piece. So that way he could just wear this with, you know, with like a pair of pants or some shorts or something. And he's just got like a cute little plain gray polo onesie. But then it has these little sailboat overalls to go with it. So freaking cute. So comfortable. Um, the, what am I trying to say? The overalls have little buttons on the bottom too. So if you go to change them, you don't have to like take the whole overalls off or anything. It's just kind of like a little onesie sort of thing. But so cute. They look so cute together. It's just like a really cute little outfit and I love it. Again, this is on clearance, so just really cute. It comes in a bunch of different sizes, obviously. So really cute little baby clothes. Okay, finally I have some travel stuff. Um, again, if you follow the vlogs, you'll know that we took the baby home to, well not home, to my home in Ohio. And so we have bought a few extra travel things just to take with us um, to try to make our life a little bit easier. So the first thing we got were these luggage tags. This is a set of seven and they came in a whole bunch of different colors, but it was nice to like easily identify our bags then and our strollers and stuff. So they're just, you know, plain luggage tags. These are really inexpensive. Um, and I just love that they're bright colors. So these are great. The next things we got were stroller bags for gate checking our stroller and car seat. So we did take our stroller and the car seat through security. And we also brought an extra base for his car seat. Since we were going home, we knew we were just gonna borrow my mom's car for the week. So we just installed his base in her car and took the car seat. It was just way easier for us that way. Um, I'm sure if we weren't going home, we wouldn't have done that. But because we were using one car the whole week, that made it way easier. So we bought these bags, one for the stroller, one for the car seat, and they just, fold up into their own little like cinch bags. They are like this big. 
so you can throw them in your carry-on. We just threw them in like a tote bag. So they were like contained but easily accessible. Um, and then when we got to the gate, we took him out of the car seat and I carried him onto the plane. And then Matt just put these bags over our car seat so they wouldn't get like dirty. We weren't too worried about them getting damaged or anything because they were getting gate checked, but we just wanted them to stay like as clean as possible. Um, and they worked great. No one else seemed to have them, so it was really easy to identify which stroller and car seat were ours. So that was great. Um, we really, really liked these. Again, they were just really convenient. And the last thing we got was this rain cover for the stroller. We didn't end up using this. I have a feeling we'll use it when we go on our trip to Disney because you never know when it's going to rain in Florida. But originally I got this because I saw someone else on the internet use this as kind of like a face mask for their baby. They put it over the stroller and just gave them a little bit of protection from everybody else in the airport. We ended up just not using it. He was already going to be out and about in a lot of places and stuff. And the airport wasn't super crowded when we were there. It was just, you know... It was a lot of extra effort for probably a minimal amount of protection for him, but it is a great rain cover. I'm excited to use it for Disney. Um, and I'm really glad we got it when we did. So it does fold up really nice and easily too. It's just, it's gonna be great for Disney. Just we didn't use it on this trip. That is everything I've gotten recently. It was a lot of stuff, I know, but all good stuff. Well, mostly good stuff. We talked about a few failures there, but Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been trying out, what I need to try out next. Give me some ideas. I love hearing from you guys. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. So um, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.